Hi. <laughs> Today is Friday, April 9th. I have no idea when you're gonna actually see this, but just to clarify the timeline. And tomorrow, I'm officially selling my van. Okay, so if you're new here, let me just give you a little recap. Hi, I'm Justine, and I bought this van in August of 2020. I can't believe it. Okay, um, yeah, so I bought a van. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I didn't really waste any time and just hopped right in, ripping out the seats. I found a Taco Bell receipt <laughs> from like 2003. All right, so here the two bases are out. Um, that's disgusting. I learned a whole lot along the way about how to use tools and what to not do. <laughs> but I honestly had a lot of fun. I was so lucky to go on adventures locally and I also went on a two week road trip all around New Mexico. I felt so free, but also at home at the same time, if that makes sense. But then, unfortunately, things started taking a turn. My van broke down on the last day of my trip and um, I haven't been able to fix it. I've taken it to a couple of mechanics and there hasn't really been any like real big conclusion of what's wrong. And from that point on, I just kept having issues with her. Please. I spent a lot of money trying to fix the problem and keep that dream alive. But I hit a point where I just kind of knew it wasn't worth it anymore. To be honest, I'm done. I'm done. So I decided it was best to just let it go. I cleaned her out a bit and put her up on Facebook Marketplace. And I actually had my first test drive today with a potential buyer. The people that came to test drive it were super nice. They're gonna sleep on it and I have really good vibes that Sharon's gonna go to a good home. It's just really real now. I know it's just a van. I don't know, I definitely recognize that van life doesn't have to happen in a van. I still can go on road trips and sleep in the car and camp and it's it can still be the, the same experiences in a different vehicle. Sometimes we have to let go of good things to make room for better things. I'll always have the memories of <laughs> that weird time in my life during a fucking global pandemic where I lived out in the middle of nowhere and I went on van adventures in a blue fucking van. <laughs> I have good vibes about this. Yes. And here we are. That couple that came the other day put down a deposit and tomorrow we say goodbye to Sharon. So today I'm gonna take her to work. It'll be like our last little outing together. I'm gonna blast my music like I do and just have a good old time in Sharon. Just wanted to take you along for that so you can experience it with me. I feel better about it than I did the other day because I feel ready and I feel excited for what's to come because I have no idea. So yeah, let's hit the road. I'm gonna be late for work, so let's go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the other day before I took Sharon to the test drive. I got my um, fuel system cleaned and then they also like switched some sort of fuse thing. I don't know what that was. I don't want to jinx it so I'm not going to say anything out loud but you know what I'm getting at maybe. But we're not jinxing it. Okay let's just hit the road. I'm I need to jam.
anyway That was so fun. I love that. I did cry. I didn't think I would, but I did. But here's the thing that I've learned about myself. I used to be very proud that I like never cried. I was like, I'm so tough, I don't cry. But then what would happen is it would all build up, build up, build up, and then I would reach a breaking point and literally lose my mind all at once. And it was just like total breakdown, terrible, whatever everything at once and so now when i'm when i'm noticing that i'm crying more often i almost see it as a good thing because to me it means that i'm allowing myself to feel in the moment and i'm allowing myself to move through those emotions and release them and obviously i still have moments of full-on breakdowns like everyone does but it happens a lot less when i'm able to release my mim my mimosas <laughs> Maybe I need a mimosa. When I'm releasing my emotions as they come up in me, it helps me a lot. So if I feel like crying, I'm just gonna fucking cry. I know it's just a van, but I feel like saying goodbye to this van is also saying goodbye to a lot of memories. So I think that's more what I'm sad about. Anyways, I'm at work, I'm gonna be late. I'll probably check in tomorrow when I'm on my way to say goodbye to my van for real. So, um, fingers crossed, I can hold it together, and I'll see you then. Well, today's the day. I'm running late, so I don't think I'm gonna... I hate rushing, because now I feel like I can't absorb the moment. But maybe that's better. Maybe I did that on purpose, subconsciously. take her for a spin, get her warmed up, make sure she's running okay, and then get the fuck over there. This might be the last you see of her because Loki, I'm rushed and agitated and sad and all of the above, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. You can't even see, but say goodbye to Sharon. Okay, um, I guess I'll see you on the other side because I don't have the mental capacity for this. Bye bye Sharon, love you girl. The deed is done. Okay, so I feel good. I feel really good. You know my thing with numbers? I've been seeing angel numbers, threes and fours and all my favorites. It feels good and I feel like it was the right thing to do even though I'm unsure about what comes next. <sighs> I do feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I did it, it's done. I'm okay. I don't know what comes next. So I definitely feel like I'm starting a new chapter, right? I'm still very, very sure that my dreams are gonna come true. It's just gonna look a lot different than I originally expected. But I feel like as we get older, we realize that that's how a lot of things in life are. So it gets easier for us to let go of things that aren't working because the universe very well may have something better in store for you, for us. I guess van life is technically over now, but that's definitely not going to stop me from doing all the things that I was doing before and making new memories. So yeah, it's been another few days since I sold the van and I'm still feeling really good and really positive. I'm still on the hunt for a new vehicle, so I will obviously let you guys know when that happens and when that does happen you best believe we're going on adventures so i'm really looking forward to that i hope you are too and thank you so much for being here and for watching i hope you're doing well and i'll see you in the next one bye